Hey uh, guys, welcome to this episode of the Go Mango Watch Along. That's definitely not what this is. This is our review of Kishiri Sentai Ryu Soldier, episode 39. As yep. always, I'm your host, The Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have... Boys. And Mako Toa. Oh my god! <laughs> We're back! And yeah, we got done watching this episode of Ryu Soldier about a week and a half ago, maybe. But... It's still clear in our memory because it is the single best episode of Ryu Soldier that we have ever witnessed. Yeah. Um, and that has everything to do uh, with Bamba. It has everything to do with, um, uh, was it, Koichi Sakamoto being back in the director's chair, uh, making sure they get all their work in, uh, all the actors get all that physical work in. Yeah. Um, yep. It was just a fun time it was the most some of the most fun i've had in a Ryu soldier episode the the moments when bomba was getting all up in melto's face yes just yeah. sitting on that for longer than <laughs> you, you you like felt comfortable too <laughs> and i'll be honest that was one of the screenshots i took and i'm pretty sure that's the thumbnail of this episode <laughs> fitting yeah absolutely um, like i'm honestly surprised like every time you know like Melto's whole shtick was like he was the most hated person on that team. And usually like when we have like dumb gimmicks like that, they usually don't like follow through on them and they just kinda like, you know, occasionally go overboard on them, you know? They're just like a bit too on the nose. But for this one, like they're all subtle and like they're all reasons why they would hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like him just showing up at like the wrong time with like Bomba's whole, you know, him trying to get laid. And then like <laughs> I and with like uh him and Conwell. Like this happens like almost every episode, but like when it's coming from like every single direction and they just kinda like bounce like both sides of that, I was like, you know what? That's pretty neat. You know, like <laughs> they, Sentai doesn't ah, do that often. All around. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't balance too many like elements of an episode well. So when they did it here, it looked it was just real fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um there were quite a few elements that that brought this episode together for me um and the the uh i don't know i feel like you know to to what you're saying uh shifting all the the hate to melto definitely helped but bomba going overboard is what it's, it's, really put the episode in such a high spot for me it's comedy gold like the the director just nailed it every time like bomba was fighting with a with a bouquet of roses at one point and didn't even notice and just like right, you're yeah. you're watching this and you're like this shouldn't even hurt them but i don't care this is great i love this <laughs> he's Dude, so he made angry it... he does <laughs> yeah he made it look like it hurt I was just yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> and like the, the show so far has done a pretty good job at making sure he doesn't have like the most over-the-top things to do right and it's so rare that you know a show can um you know sort of use that improperly and sort of take them out of that that sort of mindset too often but he's been in such like you know that specific rut of well i won't say rut but like that character that sort of character type that he he doesn't do much very stoic and when you pair it with what he's shown to like a motivation he's shown to have before you know it's technically romance because he's been with he so was with that people. before right <laughs> so it, it's so weird to find that specific thing that gets the character just right um and and really clues you in on his motivations and i thought that was really neat <laughs> yeah like <laughs> it feels weird to use this term but like the moe gap between like <laughs> <laughs> like bomba's stoic nature and like literally every other thing that's a part of his personality is just like it's way too entertaining to watch. Like <laughs> it wasn't just Bomba though. Like the the villains were hitting high points too. Like <laughs> I mean, you know, every every time we have a, a new Minosaur, right? There's a victim, and this particular one, 
he was a magician, and so you have like Wisel like do a magic trick that's like slightly better than his and, while he's tied up too, and then he just like freaks out. Oh my gosh, it was yeah. just so ridiculous. I love it. I can't I can't praise this episode enough for just being just campy zany greatness. Yeah. yeah. They, like, compounded, like, so much stupidity in this episode. <laughs> and, like, it's all the stupidity that you love you soldier for. <laughs> just, like, them just, like, kidnapping Santa's, like, crayon yeah. is doing whatever crayon has to do to make this day worse for those people. <laughs> Holy shit. Christmas. Oh, like, also, you know. um, this was technically the end of Gotchalis. Gatchalis. Yeah. Like, yeah <laughs> yeah it's he, great he that got, you went he, out on the killed. like it's like it's funny because him going out neither made the episode better or worse yeah it just, it just happened. happened yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good job yeah. for for making it during the best episode though yeah yeah, yeah. um i don't know though uh outside of that like well what do you want this was just fun wall-to-wall fun um and you know we there is still stuff to like look into it like we were saying with like character beats but like honestly just it's fun i is it was a good time yeah yeah yep great way to uh begin the christmas season which we are definitely late for (laughs) yeah Um, oh yeah did you guys have anything else you wanted to say about this episode? No. No? All right, cool. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Tell us in the comments down below, maybe, if Kappa didn't do its thing. Mm-hmm. We're going to need to talk about that later. Um, hopefully, we're going to try to get comments back. I'll be talking to these guys in a sec. Uh, but if it's not there and you're wanting to chat about it, uh, especially in the next watch along coming out tomorrow, hopefully, um, head to the Discord, uh, leave your thoughts there, preferably in the Kamen Rider or Super Sentai spoiler channels. Um, And if you're having trouble accessing it, um, feel free. I mean, it's in the links in the description down below and on our Twitter page. But again, if you're having trouble, feel free to at me, any of these two, or the GoMango Twitter page itself. Whatever you need to do to get into that chat, you know, just let us know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy. Yep. See ya. Later. Oh, yeah. Bomba Bomba fighting uh, the bad guys in a fat suit, all Santa. That was, <laughs> that was also great. Yeah. Turns out a lot of the episode was also great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, They're just like Melto getting throat chopped was also great. <laughs>